guys. Thomas back, Mr. Lincent's in the house, and Mrs. Lincent's is also here. She's actually here because we actually have one of her favorite things to drink. Now, this is not a fragrance review this time, guys. So, if you guys clicked on here by accident, watch anyways. Because, uh, you never know. I might throw in uh, what we're wearing for tonight. Actually, what are you wearing today? I uh, am. For this occasion. I am wearing Rihanna Nude today. Rihanna Nude. And I'm actually going with this Banana Republic Vintage Green 78. This is a great, just right before bedtime fragrance or going to work, but I actually like this one before bed because it's so mellow, so calming, uh, but that's my favorite for sleep time. I just I just like to pick things that I haven't worn in a while. I really don't have a, <laughs> a rhyme or reason that I'll, I like the bottle. As you can tell, I've worn this one quite a bit, um, minus all the way down here. So this one was a favorite. So... There you, go. there you guys go. You guys know what we're wearing for tonight for this special occasion. But before we get into that special occasion, I want to say thank you guys. It means the world to me that you guys are watching. You guys are actually paying attention. You guys aren't just clicking, waiting for free giveaways or anything like that. You guys are actually taking the time throughout your busy schedules to watch a couple of our videos. And it really means a lot to us both when you watch the videos that we both appear in. I think that's pretty cool as well. Y'all don't realize that I'm a huge part of this channel. Y'all don't see me, but I am she behind the She works behind the scenes. She's she's making sure I'm getting paid, hopefully. So, <laughs> so she does do all that, the reading and stuff like that. I just come on here and show my looks and stuff and jibber-jabber, but she does all the other stuff. She's like the accountant. I'm the wifinger. The wifinger. Okay. Well, the wife and Jer is back because we have one of her favorite beverages. And pastimes. Wine. She loves a good wine. I actually like a good wine. I'm a real firm believer in drinking wine. Wine is good. Wine goes great for dinners. Wine is just good just to just lounge around outdoors, indoors, no matter where you're at. Um, and... There's been this one wine that has been popping up all over the city of Milwaukee, a, a billboards all over the place. And I wasn't too sure, was it more of a hype thing or was this actually going to be a good thing? Because honestly, in the city of Milwaukee, they actually uh, advertise uh, little Boosie's tequila as well throughout the city. So I don't know. I was thinking maybe this might be something just to kind of hype everything up. Maybe it's actually a real good thing, but... We will see together. I'm really hyped up about this because, like I said, I've just been seeing this damn thing all over the place. Decided to finally buy it. And it is... She has her hands up. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. But, can I say, I can't even lie. So, looking at this bottle, I thought it was part of Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> so, with that being said, this is going to be a creamy one, okay? This is Choco. It is called Choco Vine, okay? Um, I think they are out of Miami, Florida. It does say that on the back, imports from Miami, Florida. So I'm assuming that's where it's from. Now, this is different from your typical chocolate or creamy beverages. You got mudslides, you got chocolate martinis. Those are made with mm -hmm. just vodkas. Okay, vodkas is pretty much just a plain beverage. It's got a little bit of that alcohol taste, but there's nothing else going along with it. That's why something like that or rum is so easy to mix with other things. But now you're adding chocolate and wine. It's now, heavy. the two go well when you're eating chocolate on the side of a wine. But how do they go together on the inside of a bottle? Who knows? Okay, so I'm actually looking at the site right now. And this says this is their classic. Again, that is the Dutch chocolate. They do have like eight different varieties, even more, I think, on their website. Go check it out. But this says a perfect marriage between Dutch chocolate and French Cabernet Sauvignon. Strong, full flavors with a delicate finish, which I think that's that is actually going to make the the most uh, significance in this frag uh, this not this fragrance this wine wine is made with alcohol and so is fragrance so maybe that's why I got a little mixed up but a delicate finish because you don't want that strong bitter you know finish on a wine but I'm a little worried. Because it is made with a Cabernet. Cabernets usually are dry. But they're good. 
They're good. They're easy drink. They're now Cabernets can kind of hit you pretty fast too. So if you if you're drinking like one little glass of wine and next thing you know you're feeling buzzed, calm down because you drink a few too many of those and you will be knocked out for the night. He's a cheat date. I am a cheat date. Now, see, it makes sense to do this, okay? Now, those wineries, they try to trick you so bad. They do. It is better to just buy a whole bottle of wine while you are at the winery. That is a tip and trick that I've learned over the years. Message. If you just go there and just buy a glass of wine, you're going to be spending like $8. Next thing you know, you have four glasses. What is that? $32. You can buy a whole bottle for about 15 to 20 and save yourself $12. That's what those bottles are there for, okay? They're not... Meant to go home. Yeah, I mean, they should go home because you don't want to drive drunk. But we like to drink them at the place. So. But. The entire bar. <laughs> again, I'm a fan of chocolate mudslides, uh, chocolate martinis, Irish creams, all the creamy style beverages. I'm a big fan. So we shall see if this one uh, lives up to the billboard hype. Hence, we do have an Irish poodle. Cool little uh, wine glasses here. It's kind of look like that glass... These the wine glasses that like Harry Potter would drink from or something. A goblet. Might be a goblet. Just might be. So this kind of almost looks like you who already, if you guys know what you who is. Uh, man, is that a man drink you who? I've never seen a woman just drink you who out the blue. I honestly didn't know what you who was until he introduced me. Guys, we. We like a good yoo that nice chocolate water slash whey protein beverage, which is very good. But this is a different story now. This is wine. Again, this has, I think this said it has 14% alcohol in here. So be careful with this. It is high. Again, this is most likely going to be one of those easy to sips that you're going to assume it's an easy sip. But then after a while, you will get drunk if you are drinking it too fast or drinking too many. But... Here we go. Again, usually when you go to a winery, they usually like to pair a nice wine with some chocolate anyway. So now let's see what cheese. it's like putting it together. Next thing you know, they might put cheese in the wine and just or blitz it up together. I don't him, know. Put, give him some cookies that he can dunk in here. Ooh, <laughs> man, that might be good. I don't know about that alcoholic taste, and but uh, who knows? But here we go. Choco Vine, the biggest billboard hype since... George Clooney's tequila. Here we go. Wow. Okay, so on the initial taste, like when it first hit my mouth, all I can think about was like a mudslide, mudslide type drink. It's thick. Very it's very creamy. very creamy and it almost tastes like those like kind of like those pre-made mixed drinks like if you were to drink this side by side with one of them and blindfolded you probably couldn't tell that i honestly i can't really tell that this one would have wine and that one would have tequila they kind of almost it tastes to, to are me very like, similar like coffee creamer let's like however what i do like in this is the chocolate flavoring is actually very, very nice in this um, it's actually the star of this uh, beverage, in my opinion. I mean, you do get that strong kind of sour bitterness from that wine, that Cabernet. But it, it kind of fades fast. The chocolate just takes over eventually. Like, you, you swallow it, you get a little bit of that bitter um, Cabernet, but then the chocolate just follows. And that's probably what they're talking about on that delicate finish. Again, if you were just to drink just a regular Cabernet, you're going to have that strong kind of oaky, bitter wine taste going down your throat. But the chocolate actually hits the back of your throat, which kind of, to me, makes it a, it does make it an easy drink. I could drink this all day, but the only problem is it just tastes too much like the other chocolate drinks. I think? am going to say this is extremely smooth. It is very smooth, almost like a very creamy, milky beverage. Um, I don't get very much wine at all, in my opinion. I would, I would want to see or taste more of a 
wine in there. I don't get very much wine. I get more of the chocolate mud slidey taste. Like if I was blindfolded, I would assume this was more of a mudslide. I wouldn't assume there was any wine in here at all. Honestly, I don't get a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc at all. I mean, here. it I could just I don't be. Taste it. It could just kind of be because we know it's in there. Um, because obviously it's not just all chocolate, okay? Um, you do get a some kind of alcoholic type taste at the end. That's most likely that wine, okay? I do get the alcohol um, taste. You do get that alcoholic taste, but again, like she said, it doesn't kind of come off of as you're drinking a Cabernet. Again, this almost is just pretty much just your typical mudslide beverage that is trying to uh, hide itself behind a wine bottle that's all it is to me yeah now is it a good drink it is yes good. but this Smooth. is going to be like one of those desserty wines okay like if you Definitely. just had a nice big dinner you're not going to drink this with dinner because it's not going to make like sense cheesecake. Okay? even bottle. even drinking this with an actual dessert might be too much because it is kind of sweet already so this would be like okay if after your dinner this is your only dessert it's a dessert and it's a drink and it's a alcoholic beverage all in one you drink that however i don't see no other reason to drink this unless you want something that tastes pretty much like a mudslide because that's all it tastes like literally guys yeah. it, it's there is other flavors now maybe the other flavors will kind of help a little bit but then again those are just going to taste like a raspberry mudslide or because there is a raspberry flavor which we do have we're not going to drink that today this is just <laughs> dutch chocolate but again, what I really took away from this, though, is the chocolate taste on here seems to taste better than some of those mudslides. Now, those mudslides just have that nice, you can taste there's chocolate in here, but this one has a more delicate chocolate taste, in my opinion. It tastes more real. It tastes more like real chocolate. Maybe the ones in those typical Kahlua mudslides, maybe they just use a Hershey bar in there, grind it up and melt it. And this like one, they use Ghirardelli's chocolate. There's like, a difference. I can see this being paired with like fruit, like if you want to have this, and maybe like a, um, a charcuterie board with, may, yeah, I can see that. I mean, I can that would or just like some fruit. Yeah, I would say more of a. I would actually go with something more salty just to kind of balance it out because with the, I mean, fr fruit is fresh and sweet, but then this is kind of sweet too, so. Me, personally, I would rather eat cheese with this. Or like some Or even like the saltine crackers that they usually meat. give you. The cured meat just to kind of balance out that sweetness. Because, again, guys, this is kind of sweet. It's really sweet. It is. It's borderline like too sweet. It's a lot. <laughs> even in my own opinion. I love sweets. I love anything candy. But this is like, this is on the border of being way too sweet. Um. Man, usually when we go to wineries, we can, whatever wine that we get, and we usually are more of the sweet, semi-sweet, mm -hmm. we could usually drink the whole bottle, no problem, Whether whatever, whatever it tastes like, we can usually drink the whole bottle. Yep. This seems like a we're one done. glass and done, and... We're, we're man, not even, even this close. one Even this one glass here is going to be a tough <laughs> drink. Now... Maybe it's best to kind of water this down a little bit with ice and just pass it off as a mudslide. You might just get away with it that way. Don't come out here and say, ooh, man, I got the newest cool wine, and then like try to give this to your wine friends, because honestly, I think they're going to be disappointed with that. That's just my opinion. I was really excited to try it, because he's been um, mentioning it for maybe like two weeks or so, and I wasn't expecting it to be so thick, maybe. I was thinking it to be more thin like a wine i it was very thin. i was kind of hoping for that too i was kind of hoping for a a rich now that i know that there's cabernet in here i was kind of hoping for a rich cabernet with maybe subtle hints like well not just subtle hints of chocolate because they do already have those type of wines but a more um indulgent uh notice of chocolate because some wines it's hard to t detect all those different things that are in there they talk about oaks and all these other things, chocolate sometimes in there, peaches and all that stuff. And sometimes it's hard to taste each and every one of those flavors. I definitely wasn't imagining like something so 
thick, like almost like a hot chocolate, just cold. Like this that is thickness. literally like this is as thick as chocolate milk would be. So yes, you guys, it's, yeah. it's it's actually thicker than like your normal one percent chocolate milk. It's not. It's about the same consistency as a whole chocolate milk. Like an almond but milk, like an almond, almond chocolate milk. milk. Almost. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this thickness. I was expecting like a wine, but um, still like a little transparent, but like a, more, not like a subtle wine or chocolate um, flavor, but more of like a more pungent chocolate flavor, but more on the wine side, but not like this, I guess. Well... <clears throat> The good thing is, it is good. <laughs> it is. It's not expensive like some of your typical wines. This is it's about nine dollars. It's not. Bad. Um, so it's not bad. You get that total wine. Some of your Walmart probably has it. Target probably has it. But again, Meyer. in my honest opinion, I'm gonna pass. Just pass on this one. Um, I'm most likely gonna pass on the raspberry one too. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm gonna drink it anyways, but. We'll do a video of that maybe another day, but this is already a pass for me. And I, again, I usually really like chocolatey beverages, like alcohol beverages. However, when you're putting wine into it and then you're trying to say this is going to be a wine and chocolate beverage, and it really just tastes like a regular mudslide, it's kind of a disappointment for me. Yeah. So I'm I disappointed. Again, you're going to get that alcohol taste, that kind of alcoholic taste at the end it doesn't just go smooth like chocolate milk okay it's tastes it's like cold, chocolate though. milk it's smooth like chocolate milk you will get a little bit of that alcoholic taste that alcoholic taste that's most likely that wine but it's almost to the point is like how much of this is actually wine and like is the wine right here and then the rest is just all chocolate milk or i don't know how they did it maybe they put the wine like way up to here and then filled the rest up with like some chocolate i don't know but that one was a major disappointment. I think that thing is all hype. Now, the cool thing is that would be good. That's, you know, fellas, maybe you're just turning 21. Maybe you and your lady are just trying to celebrate something nice. Maybe you don't have the type of money to buy the chocolates. This is a Sybaris thing. You can substitute this for the chocolates and you can have the best of both for us, chocolate and wine. Liquor her up a little bit. Like, honestly, like, if y'all like the Severus and y'all are doing something romantic and fun at the Severus, this would be a fun wine to take with you. Now, if you guys don't know what the Severus is, that is a, uh, it's oh, like yeah. an Do adult uh, resort, pretty much, for adults. Uh, they kind of decorate the room with roses and hearts and stuff like that. We've never been. Yeah, he's never taken me. But uh, I hear the, the commercials. The funny thing about that, Sybaris, uh, is the back in the day, the commercials would come on like right after the, the sex, uh, the, the sex uh, paid infomercials yes. and stuff. I, I oh, I man, if you're horny and in love and all this, and the next thing you know, the next commercial was, Super. oh, come to the Sybaris. And they have like the pools and the slides in the room and everything. Like they put it all together. How dare they? But. Again, maybe a younger crowd would like this. If you're a true wine connoisseur, honestly, you're not gonna like this. I mean, try it. And even if you, even if you're just a, even just a regular wine drinker, I don't see enjoying this that much. Like they'll enjoy the taste of it, but then, like I said, when you put the two and two together, and you're saying it's a chocolate wine. It's just disappointing. What I I'll drink this whole bottle. We will drink this whole bottle because it's not going to go to waste. And I'm actually kind of feeling a little buzz actually already. Like I'm kind of getting a little heavy eyed right now. But that's not the point. The point is, this sucks. And, I don't uh, say it sucks. It's just not good. No, it's not good. But it's not what we were expecting. There you guys go. Now, if some freaky deaky comes out of it, then it's done its job. Correct. I'd say so. So, for that fact, we actually enjoy it. We we'll enjoy this wine. We might actually finish it off in the room. Who knows? Doing miscellaneous. And a nice little. I might go out to the store and grab a 
thing of um, whipped cream. To make a pie. Ooh, man, put some whipped cream on top of this. That'd married be cool. couples. Mm-hmm. Because we're making a whoopie pie. Mm-hmm, whoopie pies are good. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they call it nowadays. But anyways, we are going to get up out of here. Uh, it is past our bedtime. It's like 8.30 p.m. <laughs> the dogs but, are, like, knocked out. Yep, so that means it is time to put them to bed. Time for us to go to bed. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bit of humor along with us drinking some wine. And if you guys did, gagging, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And uh, by the way, watch us do this quick thumbnail.